A small shed had been added to my grandmother's house years ago. Some boards were laid across the joists at the top, and between these boards and the roof was a very small garret, never occupied by anything but rats and mice. It was a pent roof covered with nothing but shingles, according to the Southern custom for most buildings. The garret was only nine feet long and seven wide. The highest part was three feet high and sloped down abruptly to the loose board floor. My uncle Philip, who was a carpenter, had very skillfully made a concealed trap door which communicated with the storeroom. He had been doing this while I was waiting in the swamp. To this hole I was conveyed as soon as I entered the house. A bed had been spread on the floor. I could sleep quite comfortably on one side, but the slope was so sudden that I could not turn on the other without hitting the roof. The rats and mice ran over my bed, but I was weary, and I slept such sleep as the wretched may when a tempest has passed over them. Morning came. I knew it only by the noises I heard, for in my small den, day and night were all the same. I suffered for air even more than light, but I was not comfortless. I heard the voices of my children. There was joy and there was sadness in the sound. It made my tears flow. How I longed to speak to them. I was eager to look on their faces, but there was no hole, no crack through which I could peep. This continued darkness was oppressive. It seemed horrible to sit or lie in a cramped position day after day. Yet I would have chosen this rather than my lot as a slave. God pity the woman who is compelled to lead such a life.